Are we live? Do a little live action here. I'm live, huh? Going live. Hey folks, Engineer775 here on a site in North Carolina. We are and just enjoying this. Sorry to rub this in if anybody's in cold weather, but it is going to be 80 degrees today where we are. And uh, we're just adding on solar to a job we worked on two years ago. And we're doubling the ray. The first array was a southwest, southeastern facing and we put in our southwestern facing array. And um, I'm gonna see some people popping on here. Here in Charlotte. All right, cool. Yeah, weather is awesome today. So very thankful. It's gonna dry out my muddy mess here. I graded out because they just came and took my machine away. We rented a little machine for this job to put in our holes for our Schletter mounts. Put in two yards per post. She's not going anywhere. Johnny, are you setting up a safe zone? There's panels open and kids running around. And um, howdy up here in Canada. Not quite so nice. Yeah, I bet. Lauren, Lauren's warm and dusty in Afghanistan. Wow. Hello, sir, in Afghanistan. So we are um, doing an add-on, like we said. We're going to add another 3,500. Are we 3,500 add-on? What's the wattage? So 295 times 12, close to 4,000. Close to 4,000 watt add-on. So he'll have close to 8,000 watts here. And I'd like to show you the mechanical room. We're going to be adding on a nice hot water solution for this job. And we're going to, I got a new tank with a mixing valve tank booster. Let me show you that. We're gonna give the customer the ability, like on a sunny day like today, he can use his radian without hurting his battery. So we're gonna be putting, here's the water heater we went with. We've got, uh, we changed out the elements from 4,500 to 3,000 watt, top and bottom. Eight feet of snow in Norway, wow. It's 79 and sunny here, sorry sir. Yes, yes, we're enjoying the sunshine. So here is, the tank booster, it's got a mixing valve. It pulls water from the cold side, mixes it, and you set the temperature here, this cool little thermometer, and it's got a little heat well it goes in, giving them a new, a new expansion tank, because these don't last long either. And then uh, we'll mix it down, make sure that the customer's happy with the water temperature. So what we're gonna do is pull out that water heater. It's an old one. And we're going to put in a transfer panel to switch between the grid and generator, grid or generator or solar. So we're just, we've added a charge controller. He had this system. They've tested it. I've had an outage here for a week and a half and they were able to run nicely off of the radium, lead acid battery. And uh, so we're going to give him a hot water. He just didn't have a hot shower. So we're going to make sure that he gets a, a hot shower this time if there are any outages. This is our critical loads panel, and we're getting a well drilled tomorrow. So we're doing a lot on phase two. It's water, hot water, more solar, and running with an 8,000. You can do a lot on an 8,000 watt radian. You really can. If you can't do your off-grid system with that, I see some of Jason Andrade's um, <laughs> three to, and then some of Bartley's 10, 10 of these inverters, incredible, awesome projects. But most people do not need that. One, one 8,000 watt inverter in a battery backup system is usually sufficient if the critical loads panel is laid out correctly. So, okay, so hot water solutions. We're gonna have a well here with new pumps and a hand pump too. I mean, it's the pump's gonna be running off of here. We're gonna use a Grunfoss, a low amperage soft start pump. Possibly gonna add a mini split to the house. We gotta land some more wires here. We took the, we got a generator input coming in here and it's gonna be great. Hello, nice here in Northwest Mississippi. Many local homes in Afghanistan. Yes, a lot of sun there. So anyway, just letting you know of some new things we're working on just to make life a little easier if the grid goes down. And then every day this is gonna sell power back to the utility. It's, this is selling back right now um, while we're working on it. We're just running it live. We're selling it back about 2,200 watts back to the utility right now. Of course, we don't have the second array hooked up. So I hope that makes sense. 
We did an element swap out. We don't want to kill the batteries by running 4,500 watts on that 8,000 watt inverter. It will do it, but we, don't, we want to be nice to the battery, right? So here is, this will, this will allow us to make this tank um, about 100 and, 140 to 150 degrees. And then we'll mix it down so we don't scald anybody down to about 120 or whatever the customer desires. It's kind of a little analog. You kind of got to set it and get the okay from the, usually the ladies in the house. They like the water a little bit hotter than the guys. About five degrees hotter, I found. So I think that's a, there's a plumbing statistic out there that says that women like the water at least five degrees hotter. So um, we're in a garage. It's kind of a good little setup, um, protected setup for the, uh, these mechanicals. So let's go out. Let's see if uh, we know we got to go to lunch here now. Man, is this a this is just awesome? What a beautiful day! So we're just enjoying this. Got that little uh, excavator uh, from a rental company. It was great. 250 bucks. We got us our trenches and our holes. So we're in good shape. All right. Any anybody else looking good, guys? Thank you. You're live, man. Yeah, we're live. You got anything to say to the crowd? Yeah, I got stuff to say. We got some, like, we got, uh... I always got something to say. All right, what are you up to? Who are you, first of all? So happy about getting rid of this piece of one and a quarter inch. Been in my bone yard for four years. So you, you getting rid of some of your scrap? Hard pipe it. Oh, he's making it pretty. Dedicating this to Jason Andrade, because I know he would hard pipe it. People are saying, why would you hard pipe it like this when you could just bring the PVC all the way up? So it's just, that's not what it's West not. Coast Sustainables would do. Here at East Coast Sustainables, we do things <laughs> Did you start another LLC? <laughs> I'm piping it. Hard piping it. And yes, we're gonna make it match the first array we did. So, cool. Yeah. Off goes one piece of equipment. We're gonna, and we added the uh, the NCA, the non-corrosive additive, so that we could start working on this. Abraham's already cranking away. Get this. And uh, we'll be able to build this and test it. Tomorrow we'll be testing. Our goal is to. Yeah, it's going up today. Well, we have this awesome window here of sun. So. Western League goodness, he says. All right, anybody have any questions? We've got about 65 people on. For real, there's 65 yeah. people? 65 people are watching. I went live a second ago, two people tuned in. You guys missed it. You missed say. Johnny's live, but you can always go back. That's the cool thing about live, and you can see it. Yeah. Let me see, South Carolina sunshine looking good. We got South Carolina. Nice try. Another nice, keep up the good work here. Yeah, we're enjoying it. We're thankful we had a lot of, we've had some good work here in January, February. And cool man, thanks for sharing. Build, building a cabin with solar here soon. Just finishing up with the military. Very good, sir. Thank you for your service. If there's anything we can help you with, let us know. Okay. All right. We're fixing to hammer some tacos. Time to eat, I think. So anyway, if you don't have any questions, do you run? two water heaters in parallel then no we actually just run that's a good question we could but we're just running we're gonna take one out and put another one in and um, and again if it's like today right now this would be your if the batteries are full make all the hot water you want fill up that whole tank probably in about an hour and a half you'd have a full tank of hot water and a day in a conditions like right now and then you can you can do it either off the generator or off the solar but the goal is not to hurt the battery so we're doing it with one one water heater, not two. Could you explain the cas uh, how this is like a cascading power system? Yeah, I didn't call it cascading, but I explained the gener grid generator, then radian in that order. Cascading, you talk about the standoff? I didn't talk about that. Um, is it possible to cool a house by running water through radiators and sink and heat in the ground? Um, typically, it's not. It, the hardest part of just running water through radiators is you can't get below the dew point in most places where we are and you can't get the water cold enough without a compressor to drop the moisture off so yeah it'll cool but you'll also be in a very wet humid house and mold will be growing there's your it's everybody thinks they can cool their house off with cold water but it's got to be below the dew point or you're not going to be able to do it let's see if we can find anything cool John you got anything new in your van He's always got new gadgets. I thought maybe we'd check. You got any new gadgets in here? Anybody seen Carlton? No, I haven't seen Carlton around. I thought he was going to come in here and just kind of take over my channel. He threatened me. You talking about Dr. Carlton? Yeah, Dr. Carlton. Uh-oh. 
Anybody see Carlton? Dr. Carlton? Yeah. Now he says how many a solar, lot of injunctions. How many solar power boards needed? What? This is probably the coolest I'm in the, the I'm in the sun. I can't read. I got this uh, foam cut out. You got all this. This is cool. Foam cut. Just how many solar power boards needed before it's turned? What? I don't know. If that's solar power panels or what are you saying? Doctor. Oh, yes. The gentleman wants to know oh. if Dr. Carlton is available. Uh, Ask Johnny Valentine can probably make more production for his alter ego. Yeah, I don't know what they're talking about. That's not an alter ego. That guy is... He's, a, like, he's legit. Yeah, that guy's a nefarious and very threatening individual. Are you going Direct DC. But I will say something yeah. in regards to Dr. Carlton. Just want to make a statement. All right, people are inquiring about this yeah, Dr. He, Car Carlton feller. So Dr. Carlton... Uh, What's his name? Carlton H. Glasscock, he calls himself. Yes. But he took control of my channel temporarily. Channel I'm not stealer. I'm not sure how he did it. Um, the people out here calling him the channel stealer. Yeah, he claims that he was given temporary custody of my channel by the CEOs of Google for restitution over me stealing his designs. I never stole anything from him. All this stuff I learned myself. Uh, Dr. Carlton is was a neighbor when we lived somewhere else when I was a young kid and did some yard work for the guy. So he has no legitimacy whatsoever. Any of the claims he makes are out, as outlandish as they are, preposterous, and uh, there's no truth to them whatsoever. That's All right. My official statement That's his official statement on Dr. Carlton. Okay, I got other questions here. Solar power panels needed. Um, I guess that's a question. How many panels needed? Um, if I can't, if I don't, if I miss your question because they're going by here, just please send me an email, info at Practical Preppers. I'd be happy to walk you through. If you need any panels, equipment, unbox. We miss him. We miss Dr. Carl. Little unbox right here. Little unbox. There's a. There's a this is a put away. The, <laughs> this is our. This is a, one, one of our MMPV6 disconnects. Let me help here. There's not really any other. These it's, are handy. Well, Outback's got some, some combiners. But this is a combiner and a disconnect in one. Cost about $140. And uh, Jason Andrade, I need tech help. Ooh, do you need some tech help? What do you need, Jason? We'll help right. you. You don't need no help from us. Jason, what kind of help do you need? So this... <laughs> I... What do you say? I hate... I hate it when Nazis build solar panels. Oh, come on. Liberal snowflakes. The Germans... The Nazis didn't build these panels. The Germans built the panels. Okay? I'm not going to put up with that on this... <laughs> we'll put up with any kind of hate on this channel. Anyway, we're gonna we're we're duplicating just so it looks nice. We're the same combiner disconnect, same lightning arrester, metal coming up to make Jason happy. And uh, cost of project, please. That's a good question because it's been in multiple phases. Okay. And when you make us come back to do more, it costs a little bit more when you do it in. But I can answer that question. How much? So thirty-two. Whole, yeah, the first phase one was about thirty-two grand, and phase two about 12 so you know total cost of the project is going to be about 44 when it's all said and done and these you got to understand two years apart so the prices came down and then um a lot of travel we had to travel out here and do this job so this job's pretty far away i mean this is an undisclosed location pretty far away from my undisclosed location about six seven hours i think it's an undisclosed bill yes that is exactly right what's the zip code for undisclosed bill 3050 what <laughs> Oh, Abraham, how you doing? Great, setting up the string. I'm just trying to answer some questions here on YouTube. Let's we'll see. We got Costa Project, Eastern Washington. We got six inches of snow, 19 degrees. What is it right now? It's got to be close to 80, 75. Close to 80. It's 80, 80 degrees Don't right now. Much more information about the temperature. Jason, right. Jason needs a good worker. You have a good worker. Yeah, you got, you got Kanan. Come on. Your own flesh and blood. Wait, wait, hey guys, now hold on. No, not you. No, we're talking about West Coast. Uh -huh. You've got your own flesh and blood. The land. How could you but Chris bed? Gray, show the crawl space. Hey, yeah, Abraham was just Chris Gray. Oh. Hey, Chris, we uh, we had to run. We forgot to have you pull more wire for us. Yeah. Johnny, tell them about the wire you pulled for the future. Yeah, you got a metal wire here now. Eight thousand watts, Dale. Where are the stakes? Stop. Oh, you want to go down in Where here? where are the stakes? What stakes? Oh yeah, those steaks. They're on the grill. You remember this site, Chris. We remember the Prepper's Kitchen. And uh, we were commenting about that. We really miss your uh, cooking on the job. Do you say the only thing we yeah. miss about Chris? <laughs>
Chris, that was Johnny. That wasn't me. Better, better use those rain tight connectors. We are. We're Myers and up here, boss. All right, there's the crawl space. Sorry, Chris. I'm not going in there right now because we're going to lunch. You won't fit in there. I won't fit in the crawl space. <laughs> No, you would. I'm seeing you all that point. I'm sorry. Taco up. All right, good to see all you guys on here. What is um, better than those rain tight? Yes. What battery setup is it using? We're just using a, are those L16s? This is a, a 400 amp hour L16 yeah. crown battery. They were a crown we, two years ago. The well, we're getting pretty excited about deploying some lithium ion here. Um, we're going to use a rely on 200 amp hour battery next week or week after the week after week after i'm sorry who's who is this is great thanks for going live hey jason now oh, there's mr Tal. so it's a it's an age is it's an agm isn't it we didn't do lead acid right? oh it is lead acid this guy's he he's very good so again we try to match the battery to the homeowner's personality are they willing to maintain and check specific gravity and fill the battery we give them a lead acid but if they're not they get an agm or a lithium one day it'll all be new chemistries what a mess yes i know you remember this yeah we we displaced a lot of water here this morning chris we poured four yards in the holes that usually only require three quarters of a yard but anyway would love to replicate your awesome work up in north of montreal canada very interested in your help yeah well let's um send me an email send me an email i'll you know i don't the cold doesn't scare me but i sure do like this weather though what a mess yeah we're letting it dry though chris she's drying out i don't know if it, let me show you the solar panels we couldn't find Johnny wasn't able to find the, the original Cenevas with the silver frame. They ran out of business, and you know all the tariff stuff. We won't get into that. And then we found um, he found the Axitec solar panels that look pretty close, almost identical. So we're going to go with these 12 270-watt modules, and they're about ready to go on after lunch. I think the concrete will be set up enough for us to get to work. So a lot of people wanted to see kind of the details. Well, we're not showing you step-by-step. Step, we're showing you a lot. We'll travel for snacks. Absolutely. You'll travel for snacks, Brian Hunt, or I travel for snacks. I'd love to replicate. What a messy swamp. All right. We're getting some thumbs up. Got 71 people on here. Hey. Hey. Tell these, tell these uh, people on your channel. Go to my channel. Hey, yes, I can. I will do that. Hey, hey folks. You know, I've been working with Johnny. How long have we been working together? Three years? Three, at least three, three years? three At least three years. We've been working with Johnny. Uh, we got, you know, Johnny's highly qualified, NAPSEP certified, and all that. Try and and be quiet, Jason. We don't hear any comments from you. But um, we got an awesome <laughs> electrician in Copperhead Electric. We got awesome help, Mr. Abraham Cluxton. We've got, man, Brian the Grader. They let me grade this this time. We didn't hire Brian. But um, anyway, I want you to check out, if you would, do me a favor, go to Gain Solar Services and Gain Solar Services channel. Johnny has a lot of things he does. He's starting to do tool reviews. He's got a lot of solar technical jargon. If you guys really want to learn solar, you can learn it from him. YouTube, YouTube's going to, they're going to shut me down if I don't get a thousand followers. I'm at 930 something. Yeah, he's just trying to break that thousand um, subscriber. Let's see what we can do. See if we can get him a boost, if you don't mind. Gain Solar Services. Little shout out for Johnny. I really appreciate that, Scott. That was really kind of you. You're welcome. Man, man, you need an Osmo. I'm sorry. I do. I need an Osmo. I, I'm, one, I'm so I'll cheap. Yeah, send me one. We'll review it for you, Jason. Send me yours. I did see an awesome video done with an Osmo yesterday. Jason, it's about time for you to get a review out. Don't you think, everybody? I don't know. Jason had a lot of videos out recently. All right, guys, I guess I'm, I'm probably boring you to death at this point, so I'm going to sign off. Got any questions, let us know. Love to help you, walk you through the, the details. It. I'm still unboxing it here. You're still showing the combiner? Yeah, I'm doing an unboxing. All right. Again, this is a midnight combiner disconnect if you're just sh showing up. We have one that's already installed. Let me show you that. We're unboxing one. This is a great little combiner. We mounted it up so high because there's a lot of kiddos here. 
And you can lock it, we just put it up high. We and it up high see you later, high. Jason. And um, now we're gonna put the same kind of setup on this next array. Obviously these arrays are about 40 degrees off from each other, so you couldn't combine the two arrays or else you'd mess up your MPPT tracking. So inside so your combiner you got Tell us about this. You got your bus bar. Bus bar for breakers. PV negative bus bar. It's actually called a DIN rail. You got, your din, din rail. you got your DIN rail and then in here snapped in the zip tie comes your bus bar stuff and all the stuff that the breakers are going to bite on. So that you're going to keep that. Don't throw that in the trash. And then this is your where your ground goes. So all your negatives, they get bussed together and they go back and they're pretty much all your, your negative, your PV negative, your battery negative, everything's common in most of these systems. And then this is where you mount your breakers. Match your fusing for your positive solar strings going in, and they all come. They all come in the bottom, and they combine. We'll show you that later in another video. And then that's your overcurrent right protection, there. correct? That's overcurrent protection and the means of disconnect. All right. Following NEC codes, what six ninety? We're just doing it. Following Jason Andrade, article we're just, Jason Andrade. We're just copying Jason Andrade. Does the West Bank make more than the East Bank? Um, in this site, it is possible that it will. A lot of times that's site, a site-specific question, but um, we do have some trees that are heavy on the morning, but we have nothing on the horizon in the west. So, yeah, I think this west array will make a little bit more, you know, of course, that can change based on the weather. But in general, yes, this ray will make a little bit more, I predict, than this. The customer can give us some feedback on that because he's got two charge controllers that log the total production. So from this... So, and he does watches, so from tomorrow on, he can tell us how much more or are they kind of equal over a period of, say, we bug him in about six months. So, good question. Does the, yeah, so we had to do, we, had, we were so close to a septic tank, so we had to scoot this thing forward anyway, and I'm glad we did because the sun's setting over here in the west, and so this, this array won't shade this array at all. Maybe a real late, like seven, eight o'clock. At that time, you're not making any power anyway, hardly. 50 watts. All right, I'm going to sign off. I think we've done our damage here. We're getting ready. This is another little tech tip that we like to do. We take um, a good uh, nickel anti-seize. i got to get some more of that, don't I? Mm. Some Loctite. There's all different types, copper, nickel. We, you need to make sure that you use the, the right kind. And this stuff prevent, prevents the galling. These are stainless. If you ever work with stainless steel bolts and threads, you got stainless steel on, um, it's in a stainless steel nut, but very easy to gall these. So we we, um, we anti-seize up all the thread for the the, um, the clamps that hold the panels down. So, um, here, uh oh, shameless plug. God bless you guys. God bless you too. Um, shameless plug. YouTube keeps cutting, got no, what? Detailed info on this project, dang. YouTube keeps cutting. I don't know what that means. Cutting out? It doesn't say that though. Sorry, didn't you hear? I answered about the geyser, hot water heat pump. Hey. Dream dropped out. Dot. Oh, it's so hard. Sorry, guys. It's so bright here. It's too warm. It's so sunny. I can't see my comments. What are we? All right. Johnny has a tech tip. Johnny. These, these are the DIN rail breakers. This is what snaps in. These are midnight breakers. These are 15 amp breakers. Those are nice breakers. Just snap right in. Let's show you. And I just snap right into the onto that DIN rail, and then see all the PV circuits are going to feed up from the solar panels. And they'll there. be combined on the top. With a, we got your little bar. Yeah, yeah. You see that little. Hold on a second, folks. We'll show you the, the, the little plus symbol there. That does mean something. Uh, these midnight breakers are DC breakers. They're polarity sensitive, so you always got to run the highest potential where the surge or the power that's going to trip it out on that side of the yeah, breaker you always got to come into that side of the breaker so if this was hooking up to a battery i'd hook the battery into there but since i'm hooking up to a uh, solar array i'm hooking oh this is a high voltage bus bar so that so this, these bus bars just kind of snap in here this is a high voltage bus bar luckily i carry other <laughs> yeah, bus bars luckily. in the truck but um, these bus bars go in there, the breakers bite down on the bus bar, and then you, then you hook up your terminal. You down your source circuit. All right, and then we obviously we anchor this and we bolt it to the Schleder ground mount. But that clamp wasn't the sh shameless plug. Now what was the shameless plug? 
So folks, if you're noticing, we're out here on a remote location doing an install. We've got everything we need. These are the kind of uh, components that you can't pick up at a supply house. When you need these things, you need them. And we can drop ship everything you need in one compact package. We've really been working on our shipping for our packages. Last year, we had opportunity to send some packages to people in Florida, Utah, Utah, Montana. We've sent stuff to all over the place. So if you're wanting to put everything together and you're scratching your head about what all you need, we will put together a package this exact same system complete or balance any, of yep, system any other system we've done scott sells the generators now we're selling any, anything you need we can send it out to you and then we also we'll walk you through from the beginning of the install to the end we can walk you through it help you commission your system we'll even fly out and help you commission it if you really need it but most of the time we found we can talk people through this and or, or get a decent electrician yep. and we usually can you know speak talk the same people. language so good so let deal let us know just get in touch with scott on his channel and We'll get you a package. All right. What can you do to install for, for me in Idaho? Well, like we were just talking about that. I mean, we're not charging you more because you're in Idaho. Uh, we can get you a complete system and work with you if you are. Have, it's going to be hard because our team, there, some of these millennials have a babies on the way and they can't be they can't be leaving their homestead for too long or their wives will shoot them. So um, it's hard to be working so, we can do an install for you though. I mean we can walk you through it. How hard is it to change the angle of the panels for different seasons? Mm. Uh, this system's not c conducive to that. There are some top of pole mounts, some big ones like the MT solar mounts that you could adjust. Uh, check out Jason's latest job we did for the governor of, uh, of California. They're sitting on some uh, giant poles that could be adjusted. All my top of pole mounts for water systems are seasonally adjustable. But when you get into this big stuff, you're really not gaining anything. You're adding a lot of complexity, a lot of maintenance to a solar system by wanting it to track and rotate. I know it's cool, you should just be buying but the panels. yeah, the panels still, with all this tariff talk, they're still the cheapest component of the system. Um, they really are. And the longest lasting. And the longest lasting and the best warranty is on the panels. Buy more panels. So what you might have lost by not being able to track with this array, you could add four panels and have a maintenance free system forever. This thing just went through a 90 mile an hour hurricane. Hurricane Matthew had no problem at all and there's no sign of any wear tear from going through that hurricane. We're pretty close to the coast and it was getting hammered and did well. So um, when you add mechanisms and motors and trackers, uh, you're asking for, it's cool, it might be cool for the first year or two, and, and then it breaks and then you got a defunct tracking system and this is the way to go folks I'm really I'm telling you I'm telling you if you want to see a video about trackers go to my yeah, video solar array disarray solar array disarray there was like 24 trackers all facing the wrong angle not working or if he had this he would be making power still anyway that's enough of that soapbox how hard is it to change the angle of panels for different seasons I just read that um, guys how much is the setup it's about forty thousand dollars because it took us two times to come and do this um, there's a lot here that it's hard to show you a lot of a lot of wiring a lot of electrical work working with the generators the inverters the batteries the solar I think we're about forty thousand on this system if we did it all at once it would be less money so but a lot of times we do things in phases because that's what people can afford at the time Okay. All right. I'm going to say, let's go to lunch. Engineer 775 signing out. Right. Thank you, sir. Okay. Are you sure you want to stop the stream?